the wilderness, a place of true wonder and awe, a place that can just calm your mind, where you can take in the fresh air of the outdoors and meditating in this quiet peace that it gives you are all things that draw people to its beauty. As an Eagle Scout, I've spent most of my life camping in the wilderness environment and have gained insight and useful tactics that help me personally to make the most out of my camping trip. Not only would I be using my own experience, but I've also gathered research from various websites like REI.com, which is a camping website, that will basically help me back my reasoning. Today, I'm going to inform you about the aspects of camping and what is necessary to ensure a successful trip. Instructing you on what to wear, what to pack, and how to pick a safe environment to camp. First, I like to start off by talking a little bit about what to wear when going on a camping trip. Of course, clothing is dependent on your climate, whether you're camping in a warm climate or a cool climate. But in covering the basics, typically pants, like dark cargo pants that are thick, um, will provide you protection from the environment and can keep you cool if you, if you, you can get them wet. According to an article from REI.com, written by Jenny Gritters, titled Camping for Beginners, to help publish in 2015, says, Cotton is usually a no-no because wet cotton can make you cold or miserable, even in mild weather. So that is why I suggest for your top wearing something like dry fit material like I'm wearing, long sleeve to protect you from the sun, and for your feet, waterproof, durable boots that will get you through any mud or any surface and will keep your feet nice and dry. Now that you have an understanding on what to wear, making sure you have the right gear with you is even more crucial. Now, with me, this is my tent that I bring on every camp out. It's a four-person and it's basically uh, it's, it's basic and it'll work in any situation, any climate, rain or shine, hot or cold. Now, for this lecture, I'm going to assume that you all have already gotten all of your food and your water taken care of. So I will not be going into that aspect. But of course, a tent for your shelter is important. You're going to need a lighter for making fires and a knife or hatchet of some sort. Now this is my knife I bring camping every time, and it's a multi-use knife. I use it to cut little pieces of wood to start a fire for kindling. Um, I use it to cut rope to make clotheslines. Basically anything that I might need while I'm camping, this knife can do. According to Gideon's Tactical, a well-known YouTube channel, published in 2016, says that a shovel, saw, or hatchet are three, the three essential tools for any type of camping. Having those tools can be really a lifesaver in the wild because who knows, things can come at you during the night, during the day, and you have to be prepared. So the third point is picking a safe environment. Now, this may be one of the most, I think, one of the most important things to think about when picking your camping spot. You need to inspect the ground to make sure there are no, you're not going into an animal's habitat or there is no insects or plants that may harm you. But a lot of people forget you have to inspect the top, the tr where the tree limbs are, and make sure that there are no fallen debris or tree limbs that are loose and have the potential to fall and can hurt you camping below. Those, the name for those tree limbs are called Widowmakers. And basically there are never na another name for the tree limbs in the tree line that could harm whoever's underneath. According to Uko Gear, a blog service established in 1971 titled The Five W's of Wilderness Survival, says that Widowmakers can be the most dangerous thing when picking a campsite. This is important, you really have to make sure what you, you want shade 
but you want to make sure you want to inspect the trees and make sure those limbs are there so you can enjoy a great night's sleep. So, although I've not experienced this type of danger, I've heard stories where campers have gotten injured from widow makers. And in conclusion, I shared what to wear, what to pack, how to ensure you are camping in a safe environment. Camping can be a relaxing and uplifting experience, but if not experienced, but if not prepared for correctly, can turn into being miserable. Even though what I have told you is only the minimum of the necessities, as long as you follow these guidelines, you can go and experience your own peaceful, relaxing, and uplifting camping trip for yourself. 